do just a just a real quick fucking update for you. It's Sunday. I just want to throw something up here for you, give you a heads up what's going to go down for the week. Uh, I'm waiting for a check to come in the mail, and as soon as the check comes here, uh, I need to buy some ammunition and stop buying guns. So I want to get some accessories for my AR. There's some things I want to do with the front end of the AR and upgrade some things that I really would like to put on it. I want to get that. Uh, I need to get ammunition bad, and uh, th that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you're not going to see a gun. I was really thinking about that Ruger Alaskan, but maybe next month. Oh, man. Sorry. I'm fucking Berkman, because all I do is eat. All I do is eat, and I'm supposed to be on a diet, you know? I'm trying to get back to how I used to look when I was like 30. You know, now I look like I could be the poster boy for fucking gas sex. Anyway, uh, what's I going to say? Oh, maybe next month, if money's good. That's It's if money's good, because it's an expensive revolver. I'd like to get my Ruger Alaskan back. Every time I watch Oil the Guns video, I see that thing, I'm like, what in the world did I ever get rid of that revolver for? Am I crazy? Well, I'm kicking myself in my big fat ass about it. Like, you know, every other day I think about it. So I need to get that back. Now, uh, I'm going to push the... Uh, we're going to go to the range this week, and uh, we're definitely bringing the HK USP. I have not shot that enough. I've only shot it twice, maybe, so it might have 100 rounds to it. Maybe. So I need to get used to this gun. I need to get used to the trigger. I want to shoot my HK... And I really want to shoot this cowboy gun. I never shot a cowboy gun before. The only thing I don't like about the cowboy gun is this is loaded. But remember, it's single action. That's what I like about single action pistols. Uh, they're very safe when the hammer's down. There's no way, you know, you can't pull the trigger. It's awesome. Same with 1911s. It's a beautiful thing. Um, the only thing I don't like about these cowboy guns is I know when you're shooting them, your front sight is your priority. Okay? Let me make sure this is a... Uh, okay. Your front sight is your priority where you aim from. But the only problem with these, these cowboy guns, the front sights are huge. Look how high that is. Now, I know a lot of professional cowboy gun shooters have this file down, like way down, almost half of what it is, but I'm not doing that. So if I'm going to use that front sight to try to hit center, that's going to be a challenge. So we're going to see how that goes with a revolver. And uh, that might be my first train wreck shooting video. Maybe. We'll see. Because obviously all it has in the back here is a gutter sight. That's not even considered a sight, just a gutter, they call it. See that? Just that notch. So what you're aiming with priority is your front sight. This is a 45 long Colt, and uh, it is loaded. It is a badass mo. Is that a beautiful pistol? Sorry, it's not a pistol. It's a revolver. Remember that, guys. This is not a pistol. It's a revolver. I see uh, some people call... Uh, Revolvers, pistols, I think uh, that's not true. It's just, uh, it's a revolver. A pistol is a, the USP, semi-autos, they're pistols. Um, okay, yeah, Google it, you'll find out. So, we're going to, we're going to uh, take the challenge of uh, trying to shoot this cowboy gun. Wow, it is awkward. <laughs> and I want to do the best I can. I'm trying to find a grip that I think will work for me. I'm just going to have to keep fucking with it, you know what I mean? I don't know. But that's going to go to the range this week. Don't know what day. Okay, I just got a new car. And you know, guys, you got to remember, the car I got, it's 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 for practical. Right? I got to think practical because I'm not a guy with money right now and our business ain't really rolling too much. It's doing okay, but not enough, you know. It ain't my dream car. It's just a nice, good I wanted a car that's reliable, I wanted a car that's really good on gas, and 
that's it. I mean, if I had my choice, if someone asked me, you know, hey, I got the money, uh, or sorry, hey, I, well, I mean, I got the money. Hey, if you had the money, what car would you buy? What's your favorite looking car on the road? Right now, my favorite looking car on the road is the, jo the new Dodge Challenger. And I am not a Dodge fan, by no means. Because I know a lot of people with Dodge Rams have a lot of problems with them. But it doesn't mean, you know, that's just the people I know. So I'm kind of scared of Dodges. But that Dodge Challenger, man, is sweet. That's would be, that, that would be the car I would get if I, if I was, you know, doing a little better. But since, you know... I needed something pretty new. It's a 2008. It's a it's an it's an El, an Elantra. It looks like a Toyota Camry a little bit, and it rides like one. I'll try. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful riding car. It's just a practical car. So, you know, say what you want to say. It'll start up every time I turn the key. That's all. I, that's all that matters to me right now. And that's what I was looking for. Cheap, cheap, cheap car payment. You know what I mean? And that's what I got. So now we can get to the range. I don't have to borrow someone's fucking car. I don't have to worry if my Ford Ranger with 216,000 miles is going to blow a head gasket or blow a, uh, you know, blow a anything with all them miles on it. It had all the original hoses and everything. So I did not trust that car. So I traded that in and I got the Elantra to 2008 Elantra. So I went from a 97 to a 2008, and it only has uh, 28,000 miles on it, and it's like a new fucking car, and it rides like a dream, so it's good enough for me. So there's the update on the new car, I'll show it to you someday, I don't know, who, I don't know if you guys care to see that car, but you'll see it in my videos, <clears throat> if you really want to see it, I'll show it to you. Um, I wanted to show the holster that B-Perk sent me, I did wear that today, and that uh, carried really, really nice, it's nice and squishy and comfortable, and... It's not hard to reholster either because it has a reinforced mouth. It's a soft host holster, but it has a reinforced mouth. Reinforced mouth means it has this folded over leather and it's stitched all the way around to hold the mouth open. So it's not too hard to reholster. I mean, it ain't going to reholster like a a hard leather holster, but you can. it's not that bad. It doesn't collapse too much. And uh, the more I put the gun in it, the more it fits it perfect. And uh, what's good about it is... Uh, you can get a, uh, I was holding up with a bullet. <laughs> Multiple guns will fit in this holster. I could probably, I would think my Glock 23, just by looking at it, would probably fit in there. My Glock 27, uh, the, the XD. The, the, let's see if this fits in there. Just curious. Excuse me, Mr. Hollow Point. Yep. Now you tell is if the trigger guard comes to the end of the outline, you know you're in there good. Yep, you can carry my HK USP in there too. What's up, mother humpers? Okay. Alright, see you guys. We'll probably have something new tomorrow or the next day. Something, something good. Time to start going to the range. Later.